Alright, so what we've just learned is how to factor out our greatest common factor. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump around. Instead of going right to just two terms, we're going to skip around and we're going to go right to four terms. So four-term polynomial, the only way that we're going to factor a four-term polynomial in this class is to factor by grouping. Now, one important thing to know is kind of where we're trying to go. So uh, when you factor by grouping, our answer will be a binomial times a binomial. So keep that in mind because if you don't know where you're trying to go, you may stop a little bit too early and not actually get our uh, correct answer. So here's our polynomial x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3x plus 12. So it's a cubic four-term polynomial. And what we're going to do is we're going to factor by grouping. The way factor by grouping works is you group the first two terms together and the last two terms together. Out of each of the parentheses, we factor out the common factor from each. So x cubed and 4x squared, the common factor is x squared, and that's going to leave us x plus 4. The way I get these two terms is I take this and divide it into each one. x cubed divided by x squared is x, 4x squared divided by x squared is positive 4. Now, if this polynomial is factorable, I'll be able to factor something out of these two terms that uh, when I factor that out, it will leave me a polynomial that looks identical to x plus 4. So you can use that as help sometimes. So if you're kind of lost and don't know what to factor out, you can say 12 divided by what is 4, and it's a positive 3. So uh, 3x divided by 3 is x. Positive 12 divided by positive 3 is a positive 4. A couple things you need to know. You need to take a sign with you. Don't just put a 3 there, because eventually we're going to need to use that sign. Um, if these things are opposites of this, then you factor out a negative 1. If this is identical to this already, you still have to factor something out. It's just that thing that you'll factor out is a positive 1. So keep that in mind when you're doing factoring by grouping. Now, as you can see, we do have some like terms here and here. So we can factor out the like term and group together the coefficients. So x plus 4 times x squared plus 3. I made that 2 a little bit large, sorry. Got carried away. All right, so uh, we have completed factoring by grouping. So as you can see, we have a binomial times a binomial. There's no way this could be the answer because it's not a binomial times a binomial. And we could always check our work. This times this is this. This times uh, this is this. This times this is this. And this times this is this. So it checks. Uh, the other thing you need to know is that sometimes when you do factor by grouping, one of the factors that your answer that is in your answer might also be factorable. Now this is linear, like we talked about a second ago, so it can't be factored. This is quadratic, and we're going to learn later that you may be able to factor those. So keep that in mind, and uh, happy factoring.